Gemini 2.5 just got released the other day and they've already released a massive update that completely changes how you could use this tool and makes it way more useful. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what that new change is, how you can use it, and a bunch of different use cases that make this incredible. Okay, so in order to access this new change, literally all you have to do is you have to come to gemini.google.com. You're gonna come over here to your models. You're gonna come down here to 2.5 Pro Experimental, and then you're going to see this canvas feature. Now this might not seem like much, but this canvas feature is a massive game changer. Why? Because now we can create documents, we can create code, and we can edit all of that straight from within Gemini. If you refer back to the other video that I made when Gemini 2.5 first launched, it was kind of a pain to make because I would have to code something out, I would have to copy that code, and then I would have to come over to another website or another tool in order to actually show that code off. And that's a little bit of a step behind what you could do in ChatGPT or what you could do in Claude, but now they've rolled this out and it seems like they're literally going to roll out all the other features. So if we come over to 2.0 Flash right here, we'll also see we have Deep Research and we have Canvas. Well, guess what? If we come over to 2.5, we don't have Deep Research right now. Now, I do think that this is going to come to this. I just think it's going to take a few days for them to actually be able to do that. So now what we could do is literally just click in a Canvas right here and then what's going to happen is it pulls up a new window when you tell it to do something. For example, please code me a landing page for my AI agency. Now, I don't have an AI agency, but I literally just wanted to show this off so that you could see exactly what this tool looks like. So what this does is this now brings up this right here where we can actually see what the code is. We could see exactly how it's thinking, and then we're gonna be able to preview the code straight from within here. And again, this isn't only for code. This is for documents, this is for graphs, this is for charts, this is for literally anything that you could think of that you could make with one of these LLMs. Now. Once this is done loading, we're gonna click on preview right here. I'm gonna show this off to you so we could see this right here very easily. And then what this also does is allows us to very quickly be able to edit this. Let's say that we wanna change the color of this from purple to yellow, we could go and say that. Or we wanna change the order in which this actually shows up, we'll very easily be able to change that because we could literally just say to Gemini, hey, change it, and we'll be able to preview it right here. In addition to that, what you're also able to do, you could show the console right here, you could refresh this, and you could even share this canvas if you wanted to with a link or to a bunch of social platforms. Now, before I get into all the different use cases that this actually unlocks, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date on the latest and greatest AI tools because I literally upload videos like this almost every single day whenever there's an update. Okay, so use case number one that is incredibly useful with 2.5 Pro, if we open up Canvas right here, is to ask it something like this. Can you please create a visual graph that shows off the population of each country in the world? And you could say something like, I want it to be color coded. Now. If we go ahead and actually assess this, this is going to then build us a script that is going to be able to do this. And you could get this to visualize anything. Let's say you have a CSV file for a report that you wanted to visualize, or just literally anything that you wanted to be able to visualize, you go over here and ask it to create a visualization of this. Now, guess what? You wouldn't have been able to do this just 13 hours ago on Gemini because this feature didn't exist in the way that I'm about to show it to you. So this went through, this actually created this, and now what we could do is click on export to collab right here. Now, what this is going to do is open up this right here where otherwise I would have actually had to go through and do this myself which was a huge pain. Why? Because this was created in Python and I needed Python in order to do this. So if we come over here, we click this right here, this is going to show off what this actually looks like. In fact, this uses Python and Plotly in order to generate this interactive map. Now, if we come back over here, we're gonna see that this is loading up right here. And once you see this, this is actually really cool. And again, you're gonna be able to do this and insert this into reports, insert this into websites, insert this into anything that you want. So as you can see here, this visually shows what the population of each country is. And what we could even do is come into each of these and be able to see exactly what the population is for each country that we're able to scroll over. Now, I want you to think about how powerful this is gonna be for your reports for a website or just for visualizing information if you're trying to teach somebody something. 
The second thing I wanted to show off is getting this to actually write stuff. So last time I did a video on Gemini Advanced 2.5 Pro, I did not use very many writing examples because they didn't have this Canvas feature. But now this tool is going to be great at writing. So what I said here is please write me a blog post that will rank for the keyword. YouTube algorithm changes 2025. You need to be an expert at writing SEO optimized blog articles in order to do this. Now I'm gonna click submit and this is going to go ahead and actually do this. And again, we're gonna show off what this Canvas feature Feature actually allows us to do because this is a complete game changer when it comes to writing articles, when it comes to writing blog posts, writing newsletters, literally writing anything. So we're going to go through right here and we're going to see that this is actually going through and this is creating a pretty good blog post for this. Why is it a good blog post? Because it doesn't look like this was written by AI. It looks like it was written and formatted by a human. In addition to that, it has the keyword show up multiple different times in a lot of cases it highlights where that keyword is. And as we could see here now, we could come in here because this is in Canvas, we could change the length, we could change the tone, we could suggest edits. For example, if we come in here, we could change this to be casual or we could change it to be very casual or very formal. And this is basically a scale where we can change this. In addition to that, if we come into suggest edits right here, we could suggest edits for just specific parts. All we have to do is highlight this right here I'm over here, click suggest edits, and this will go through and actually suggest different edits. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, Rob, why would you have it suggest edits about a thing that it just created? And that's a great question because what you can actually do with this is come over here and upload something that you created or maybe ChatGPT created or maybe Claude created or Grok created or somebody else created. And then what you can do is apply edits here. For example, let's say that you're a teacher and you wanna be able to automate looking at your student's work. You could do this with suggest edits or maybe you're a student and you wanna be able to automate writing something or changing it or editing something, proofreading it. You can now do that with this tool or maybe you wanna do that with a report or with a newsletter or with a video script. You could do that with anything that you were gonna be writing now that Canvas has been brought to Gemini 2.5. And this next use case is gonna be even crazier. Now this next use case is the ability to literally just upload a screenshot and this is going to go ahead and actually code things for you. For example, I am taking a picture of this website right here, which let's just say might be a competitor's website. I'm going to say, please code this for me so I can add it to my landing page. Now this is gonna go through and this is actually going to code this. And what's even crazier is if we come over to something like a pop-up, we can also do the same thing. So I'm gonna take a screenshot right here. I am going to open up a new version of Gemini. I'm gonna come over to 2.5 Pro. I'm gonna click add files. And again, I'm going to come over to the screenshot now and I'm gonna say, I want to add a email pop-up similar to this to my website, please write the code for it so I can copy and paste it in. Again, we're gonna turn on Canvas, we're gonna click Submit, and this is gonna go ahead and do this. If we come back over to this other version right here, we can see this literally wrote us the entire code to be able to do this exact thing. It even has person one, it has person two, so I can put in whoever I am or whatever I am into there, and this is insane. This is absolutely mind blowing. And we could even feed it the entire website here, but I just did this with a screenshot to show off to you how cool this is. And we can come in here and we could see all of this different code. And something that we could do here is come over here and ask Gemini, why does this exist? Why does this exist, right? And then what this is going to do is explain to us exactly why this exists. So you can now use this to literally screenshot websites, to screenshot different tools on websites, upload it in here, and it is going to explain to you why things exist, or it's going to write the code for you so that you can implement that same exact thing in to your website. Let's say that you have an e-commerce brand. For example, we come over to BL101 over here. If we come over here, we will be able to go to certain things. For example, we come in a shop now, we see these freedom slides that they have that have absolutely been crushing it. And what we could do is take a screenshot of this and say, hey, how did they add this in? Or we could take a screenshot of something else that we like on here, maybe you may also like. And again, we could ask, how did they actually add this in? Okay, so if we come back over here, this is done creating this pop-up and literally all we have to do is click on open pop-up and boom, we could see this literally recreated this pop-up, but even made it a little better because it reformatted the text right here. 
Now the last feature I always like to show off here is if we come into AIstudio.google, you're gonna be able to access this for free, Gemini 2.5 Pro. In addition to that, if you do it from this window right here, we can see it has an incredibly large token count. What that is going to allow us to do is use this right here where we could upload a YouTube video or you could upload a video to this. And you are gonna be able to upload a video to this and ask it questions about the video. For example, what's the transcript? Or how can I make it better? How can I improve this piece of content? How can I improve this video? Or you could say, this is my competitor's video. Can you break it down to tell me why they're doing better than me and then upload your video and have a side-by-side -side comparison? That right there is absolutely mind-blowing. Why? Because there's no other AI tool that exists right now that's an LLM that is actually able to do that, where you could upload a YouTube video like that, or you could upload a file like that and actually get feedback on a video. Gemini is the only way to do it, which is what really makes this tool a complete game changer. Now, if you like this video, you're gonna love this video right here that walks you through a new AI tool that literally allows you to build AI agents and custom AI chatbots in just a few seconds. I'll see you over there.